today at Edgbaston to see which will be the champion country. Pakistan here at Trent Bridge today beat England by six wickets. Marvellous prospect we have. Edgbaston jam-packed, full, crammed with support for both of these sides. Plenty of Pakistan supporters here. We have a good weather forecast improving during the day and we have the deciding match of the three for the Texaco Trophy. England of course winning at the Oval. Pakistan sensational victory at Trent Bridge and now here we are for the decider. Well Pakistan had the same side no changes for their side but England had changes enforced. Mike Gatting is back to captain the side his infected toe is better and uh, unfortunately Graham Dilley strained the side and into the side came Greg Thomas the Glamorgan fast bowler. Change of umpires in the last match to Dickie Bird and Ken Palmer. So the toss was won by England, Mike Gatting winning the toss, and he looked at the overcast conditions here at Edgbaston and had no hesitation in sending Pakistan into bat. Mudassa, the batsman. That might well be out, and that's out. Moment of great joy for Greg Thomas. Back in the England party. Gets one on line, on length. And that's all too much for Odessa. Well, the perfect first ball on a line, on a length. And Modassa shuffling across. Done by Ken Palmer, having no hesitation at all. Beautifully bowled. Almost unplayable ball. It pitched and left the batsman. Just watch this ball. Pitched. It leaves uh, for Mansur Akhtar, who had a marvellous ball bowled him at Trent Bridge when he was bowled out. Oh, he's out. That's it. He's caught. Beautiful line he bowled and wonderfully caught by Jack Richards and Mansur Akhtar joins Mudassar back in the pavilion, both up for naught in the first over of this match. And that's the sort of line you'd really want to be bowling early on with a batsman, not quite knowing where his off stump is. Just inside that one, and look at that catch by Jack Richards. Great cheer around the ground now as Javid Meandad comes into bat. Marvellous player, just the man for this sort of crisis. And can Javid Meandad stop the rot? First really positive stroke of the morning. Wasn't perfectly timed. Well enough to get three. so firmly that uh, Neil Foster had no chance of cutting it off at mid-on. I rather feared in that first over that, rather like the first two games, it would be a question of win the toss, win the match, but in fact the ball really hasn't moved around very much here this morning at Edgbaston. I've seen this fella hook before, I think that'll be the end of uh, Greg Thomas's ambition to bounce him on this pitch. A very, very strong hooker and puller of the ball, Ramiz Raja. Well, he was waiting for that one. This will be deflators to Ramiz Raja. Bit 
the movement there again for De Freitas. Yes, this one hurrying off the pitch, making a little height. And Philip De Freitas. Not for nine in five overs, another good steady opening spell. We've got a change now at the pavilion end, Neil Foster coming on. And again, just airing down the leg side, but uh, was well stopped in the first place, but just let the ball go over the line. That's 50 up for Pakistan. In the 14th over of the morning. Ian Botham taking over from Greg Thomas. And that's beautifully timed, really. The only thing to play forward defence, and uh, it's really gone speeding away to the boundary there. Beautifully timed shot there by Ramos Raja. <laughs> Ian Botham couldn't understand that. He was just left there scratching his head. Because it was just a little forward push at this, and he's timed it so sweetly, it's run all the way for five. <laughs> oh, well thrown. And Ramiz Raj and Dewey was gone. Didn't even bother to turn to look at umpire Harold Bird. Mike Gatting did that brilliantly. Ramiz himself at the end has a bit of a slip as well in the sense that he never attempted to slide his bat. One of the very first things you're taught as a youngster, his bat is well up in the air. It would have been a close run thing had he been sliding and diving. But that bat was a good yard off the ground. 73 for three. Salim Malik, the new batsman. Great shot. Now the spin and accuracy and general know-how of John Embry. head and Salim Malik taking full advantage there of the man who had been brought in and now he's being pushed back hundred up for Pakistan to Salim Malik, 36 to Javed Miyadad. With one for 31 in 11 overs and one maiden, and that's a pretty good spell there by Imbotham. A little bit of luck, he could easily pick the wicket or two up. the one thing he didn't want to do. He brought so well this over so far and then just strain onto that leg stump just outside it and uh, that was really whipped away for four through midwicket. Javed Miadad having played so well again just one away for a half century. First ball after lunch Philip De Freitas is the bowler. And there's the 50 what a nice way to start after lunch. Brilliant strength. Brilliant stroke from Sal Salim Malik. Very worth. 
Anthony Lewis and Richie with a T. Neil Foster, the new bowler. Gower, brilliant catch. And that's the one England so desperately wanted. Javed Mirad out. Court Gower bowled Foster. A marvellous diving catch away to Gower's right. The breakthrough for England and the chance to keep this Pakistan total down to manageable levels. Well, who knows how vital this catch will be at the end of the day. There he goes, taking Foster on for his first ball. Didn't quite middle it, but hit it hard enough, well to Gower's right. And a magnificent effort by the former England captain there to bring to a close what's been a marvellous innings for Pakistan. He's coming at naught for two. Imran Khan. Pakistan skipper comes out now to join Salim Malik. And he's gone. I suspect when we look at it on the replay, that will turn out to be the arm ball from Embury, that he may have drawn Salim Malik into the sweep and there it is straightening up middle stop and very well bowled by John Embury Manju Ilahi the new batsman joining his skipper Imran Khan well what a breakthrough three quick wickets just in the space of a couple of overs since Foster came on. The change made by Gatting England having hung in there and fought hard. Now another wicket. Manzur Ilahi to Embury. And beautifully bowled again with a straight one. Salim Yusuf is the non-striker. Imran Khan about to take strike to Neil Foster. Oh, and another one gone. Sacrifice. Dear, oh dear, what's happening to Pakistan? The most astonishing sequence of events here with England on the rack at one moment and then fighting back magnificently with the wickets of Javed Mirdad then Salim Malik, Mansur Elahi, and now Salim Yusuf. Well, no blame to the non-striker here. His captain's called. He's gone straight away as hard as he can in a direct hit. And there he is short. So Imran Khan, who really was, would have been expected to have at least steadied the boat and led Pakistan to something of a respectable score, now he's helped in what has been an astonishing collapse. Was it Makram? Not off the mark yet, nor is Imran Khan. He's been in a little longer with the big left hander. And another one down. Was him Akram goes caught by Richards off Foster. go and the astonishing collapse continues with Pakistan now having gone from 168 for three to 170 for eight magnificent stuff from England they were in real trouble at one stage they hung in there they bowled well and fielded magnificently the ground fielding and throwing has been something right out of the box here the follow on from their marvelous work in Australia Foster is the bowler, the skipper Imran Khan, and another one would have gone had the throw hit the stumps. There's panic out there, but it's not on the England side. Well, never even half a run here had Athi hit here. Well, the batsman is he's just waving goodbye.
one stage. 168.43. And a beautiful Yorker. 178 for nine. What a fight back by England. One of the most dramatic fight backs I've seen in a limited overs match. In this case, this is the deciding game of three. Well, great near Yorker from Neil Foster here. Tausif there. Well, just not up to it. And there we go. We had five wickets and 18 deliveries. Now we've had six. And gracious me, what a turnaround it's been. Six ducks on the scorecard. Two of them up the top, Madassa Nazar and Mansur Akta, and the first over from Greg Thomas. It's been such a dramatic day. So Gatting has brought back Greg Thomas. Well, that's a massive six by Imran, right over the stand. And probably out of the ground at the back. Tremendous blow there. In fact, it's cleared the ground over the pavilion, the lot, right into the road behind the ground. Well, it might be a shorter straight boundary this end, but that was a huge hit by any standards. That's cleared the fence, it's cleared the members, it's cleared us, and it's cleared the people behind and gone straight into the road. It's a carry of at least 90 yards. A marvellous, marvellous straight hit. And here's the ball. Please, can we have our ball back? Ah, Mosham repeating the shot that uh, Imran just played. I'm trying to, but certainly middle that over extra cover. And this has become quite a profitable last wicket partnership now for Pakistan. And that's the 200 up for Pakistan, and now 203 for nine. Oh, well, that's another tremendous blow. That wasn't a bad delivery, it was just a very low full toss, just missing Lexington, which is where he's got to bowl it. And Emran picked that up to the biggest part of the ground, and really a tremendous blow. Well, four more runs were scored off two balls, and the final total, 213 for nine off the 55 overs. Really incredible to see six noughts there. Alongside the imported partnerships, Javid Miandad and Ramiz put on 102, and Javid and Sally Malik put on 64. The England bowling, well, it was uh, Greg Thomas and John Embury who were bowling at the end when the final slog came, reflected in their figures. Economical bowling in the middle by De Freitas. Ian Botham, I thought, bowled extremely well today. Kept the ball up and controlled his speed and line. And perhaps the best bowler of all, Neil Foster. Three for 29 in his 11 overs. So what was left for England to get? They need 214 to win this match and the run rate required is 3.89 runs per over. Well, that was an extraordinary innings. It's so many good things and bad things from both sides. Marvellous England fielding. I thought that perhaps should be the highlight. Well, now then, we'll join the England innings in the ninth over. The score's 18 for no wicket, and Bill Athey is facing up to Imran Khan. And there's a shout there for court behind. But Athi's not walking, but uh, umpire Ken Farmer's given him out. Uh, very difficult to tell whether that just brushed the hand or the pad. You can see here it goes down the leg side and could just have come off the thigh pad. Very difficult to tell that. Motion Kamal coming back now at the far end to ball to Chris Brown. Oh, and that's 
a brilliant catch there. Ooh. That was an absolutely brilliant catch. Chris Bird driving at that. Probably didn't get quite over it, but he only lifted two or three inches off the floor and Jarvis Mianda diving full length for his right brought off a brilliant catch. Pakistan want. They're three down now and England have made only 34. A repeat ball, repeat stroke and repeat results of the second match at Trent Bridge. Back to the gate and down they go. And David Gower, a fairly airy forward shot there. On the walk as you can see. And Madassa now striking a big blow. 34 for three in the 16th over. Skipper Mike Gatting has got an awful lot on his plate. Shot for four. Daddy will need to assert his authority on this match. He's just the man to do it. 5.13 per over. Right now, Tosi Farmer to bowl. Gatting is taking strike. left the fine lake situation unattended as well as third man vacancy paid the penalty Pakistan wanted. Alan Lambert trying to pick the ball on the up. <laughs> Probably just a little bit high up the back. And Mansur Akhtar at short extra cover took the catch. So Pakistan back in the game again now. And now both of them go for the reverse sweep. And that's four to end. A very profitable shot today is the reverse sweep. So off goes Tausif and on comes Mosin Kamal. Which leaves Tausif with five overs to bowl out of the last 23. And if the game does get tight, then Imran is going to have a problem. the wicket that Pakistan wanted and no, they missed the run out as well Mike Gatting went for the full strain the mid wicket's hands Ian Botham was halfway down the wicket the ball had dropped the ball at the running end or both batsmen could have finished up being out there <laughs> well tragedy for, for Pakistan here there's Tausif straight through him which should have been the wicket at first call double play on with Botham stranded and just losing his rag a little bit there the bowler probably upset by that catch and the run out and again trying to show up bouncer and Mike Gatlin putting that away for four more so that was really an expensive over for Pakistan the hundred goes up for England and the chance is missed gone this time Salim Malik at point the skipper's gone for 41, and it's 105 for five. Now just about everything depends on Botham. You see Gatton committing himself to a full-blooded drive there. Square drive. Two or three yards finer than he intended. And Salim Malik made no mistake. Off spinner. Tosif Ahmed now, starting his seventh over, and Botham has strike. Botham's gone for the big one this time, and there's a man running round, and 
Yes, he's out. He's caught it. It's a substitute. And they're absolutely delighted with that. Asif much to bar, and he made a lot of ground and took it well. Ian both of for the big six, didn't quite middle it, got under it a little bit, and paid the penalty. And the rate getting above six for the first time there. 6.3 runs per over now, which is always difficult. 63 from the 10 overs. Richards, that's right. To be quick here, it's gone. Beautiful throw. Beautiful throw from the outfield. Sally Malik out there, gathering it in. The bounce was kind. But it was a very good piece of cricket. Good shot from uh, Sean Embury. A little short arm jab away over the deep square leg boundary for six. He's going to look for two. Sally Malik. Oh, he'll have to be quick. He's gone. Again, Sally Malik is in, in a flash, has gathered the ball in. The throw wasn't all that good, but it was a lovely take by the keeper, Salim Yusuf. Embury has gone, and with him, England's chances. Philip De Freitas comes out now to join Neil Foster. No need to look for that, except up in the crowd. It's a magnificent blow. Philip de Freitas has picked up the Pakistan captain from a roundabout middle and leg and swung him high right into the Pakistan crowd. Oh, what a match this has been. 15 more runs to win from 18 balls. Two wickets remaining. A oh, good shot. Super shot from Philip De Freitas for four through mid wicket. The balance has swung right back to England thanks to this marvellous ninth wicket stand. So far it's put on 38. Oh, and he's done him again straight down the ground this time. Well, when I watched De Freitas play in Brisbane, and he made that very brisk 40 against the Australians, it was sheer delight to watch. Mike Gatting would have thought the same there, no more so than here today towards the end of this memorable and marvellous match. It's been one of the greatest games of limited overs cricket I've ever had the pleasure to watch. Had everything. Oh, and he's played on. 209 for nine, De Freitas goes. Well, the way this match has gone all the way through, it would be unusual if it didn't finish up with the two last men in. The Freitas is calling out Fossey, Fossey to Foster to give him some comfort. You see, he chucks this one on, looking to, to run it down. Hard, thick inside edge down into off stump. There ends one of the, the great innings of the day.
209.49, Imran Khan to tops. They'll get one. Well, that may have been the instruction from De Freitas, but it was an unorthodox way to go about it. Have to be quick. Missed it. My goodness, it must have missed by a whisker. Scores a tie. Well, every indication here is that that was the end of the match because desperately short leg by tried. Oh, and there he's at least four or five feet short. We see it from another angle here. Off they go. And had they gone off there, the bales, then that was victory for Pakistan. Rami's Raja was the thrower. Almost a hero for Pakistan. And that's it. England win. A marvellous game of cricket. Absolutely magnificent. One of the best limited overs matches I've ever seen. Sensational days cricket. When did you know you'd won it? <laughs> well, I think like you, not until about the third ball from the end. Um, I think we won it. We, we, we actually hadn't won it. I thought we'd won it when we were naught for two this morning and uh, we got uh, Yarvid in early, but he played very well. And, and then I thought uh, they were going to get 250 and we managed to keep them down to 212. Um, we seemed to be going along to start with OK and then we lost a couple of wickets and it just went up and down all day long and, and I thought we'd lost it but Philip de Freitas as well. I mean, that is an innings that uh, you would expect Ian Botham to play. It was uh, a fabulous innings. Um, forgive me for using that word again but it really was. Um, uh, a match-winning innings. And Neil Foster, did you not promote him in the order above De Freitas? Yes, with well, Daffy, you know, if you tell him he's a medium pacer, he tends to bowl quick, so I thought, well, if we slip him down the order slightly, he might just uh, produce the goods, and uh, he did. Magnificent. Yes, Philip De Freitas, the man of the match, and I'll remember that colossal six he hit right into the heart of those partisan spectators supporting both sides. So Mike Gatting takes the Texaco trophy and another £3,750 for this particular win. And the man of the series, £500 to each of them, Javid Miandad of Pakistan and Chris Broad of England. Best islands in the Caribbean.